Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking at uh, K3D, Rancho's K3D. So in the previous video, we saw K3S, a lightweight Kubernetes distribution. So uh, K3D is uh, similar, but we're gonna be running K3S inside a Docker container. So we won't be setting up any virtual machines. So in the previous video, we set up a couple of virtual machines to run um, K3S in master node and K3S in worker mode so k3d um, d stands for docker so we're going to be running k3s uh, in docker containers so i'm going to be running everything on my host machine so the only requirement is you need to have docker runtime installed all right so let's open up our browser and look at how we can install or download k3d binary so go to k3d github repo i'll put a link to the uh, uh, github repo in the video description if you want it so clicking on the releases tab so the latest release at the time of recording this video is version 1.7.0 so i'm going to download one for linux amd64 copy the link and w get that link we don't need this okay so that's downloaded i'm going to change mod set the executable permission and I'm going to move this to use the local bin as K3D. All right, so that's done. Which K3D? We've got K3D now. So K3D version. So as you can see here, K3D version is version 1.7.0, which we downloaded from the releases page. And it comes with the K3S version, version 1.17.3. So by this, if you are creating a cluster using K3D version 1.7.0, you're going to get uh, a Kubernetes version 1.17.3. Okay, so the next command is K3D help. Okay, so what we can do with K3D, we can create a cluster. Uh, we can delete the cluster, list the cluster, stop, start it, um, version, check tools. So check tools. Uh, does nothing but checks whether you've got docker runtime installed so check if docker is running all right so let's do that k3d check tools cool so that's success so docker runtime is installed and it's the required api so that's all looking fine um we can do k3d list to list any clusters we've got so we don't have any clusters at the moment so uh, let's go ahead and create our first cluster k3d help so we're going to be using create and if you do k3d create minus minus help it's going to give you lots of information um, basically what you want to create uh, different set of values different options that you can use uh, but let's not confuse ourselves let's start with a plain simple cluster all you need is k3d create that's it k3d create is going to create a default cluster let's see what we get by running this command all right so before that if i do docker ps i don't have any docker containers running but uh, once we run this command k3s uh, sorry k3d create cluster it's going to run start a docker container um let's see okay k3d create okay that's it ready so we've got our cluster ready so you need to export you need to run this command so that you can start using kubectl okay that's run so now if i do kubectl get nodes there we go so that's our first node it's in the not ready state because it's still deploying all the uh, uh, containers within the docker container so it's docker in docker so we are running docker containers within a docker container all right so you get the version 1.17.3 if i do kubectl version minus minus short 1.17.3 kubectl cluster info yep so that's our uh, kubernetes master core dns we've got metric server installed so now if i do k3d list so that's the default name you get if you don't specify any name when you are doing the k3d create command that's the name of our cluster we can create additional cluster if you want workers so we don't have any workers we just have one node which is a, a single node kubernetes cluster that's the master node um if you do kubectl get nodes so we have just one node which is the master node and it's by default when you do k3d create it's 
going to create a very single node cluster but if you want more nodes you can create a cluster with additional number of nodes okay so that's uh, the cluster if I do cube CDL minus n cube system get all okay so all the containers are running fine so you get a metric server basically uh, a local path provisioner so you can start using uh, persistent volume and persistent volume claims comes with core DNS and it also comes with the traffic ingress so probably in my next video we will cover uh, traffic so how you can use traffic how you can uh, create an ingress resource um, yeah so that will be my next video okay so we've got all these resources everything is in the running state kubectl get nodes and the master now it's in the ready state and if we want to delete the cluster we can just do k3d delete you don't have to specify any name or anything because uh, we've got just one cluster that's the default cluster so you just do delete that's it that's gone and now if i do k3d list we don't have any clusters it's that simple very lightweight easy to start because it's a docker container it's not going to take huge amount of time bringing up your cluster um, you can also stop and start your cluster whenever you want so now let's create the cluster again but this time let's give it a name minus minus name first cluster okay so that's again done and run this command kubectl get nodes there we go so uh, we've got one node if you do k3d list so that's our cluster and now you can see uh, we've defined the name of our cluster so we can uh, start another cluster let's say k3d create minus minus name let's call it second cluster error cluster creation file rolling back removing clusters removing server removing docker image volume okay couldn't start container programming external connectivity on endpoint port is already allocated ah okay so because we are running a cluster on 6443 because basically um, when you're running this it's going to bind uh, the port 6443 to your local host so if I do netstat minus NLT you can see here 6443 so that's the API server listening on 6443 and it's bound to my local host so I can't start another cluster with the same port so k3d list we've got one cluster so now our intention is to create a second cluster right k3d create minus minus name second cluster but we're going to pass minus minus api port let's choose a different port so 6445 for example cool so now we've got our cluster and if you want you can export this Control c Control v and now sorry uh, I missed the double quotes okay so kubectl get nodes cool so that's our second cluster it's not ready it's still deploying the container so now we've got two two clusters k3d list so we've got first cluster we've got second cluster you can stop and start your cluster k3d delete if you want um, or k3d stop if you're not using uh, the default name for the cluster you need to specify minus minus name for all the k3d operations so for example if i do k3d stop it's going to comply no clusters found because it's uh, expecting the cluster name to be k3d default but we specified uh, the name uh, exclusively so we need to mention the name so if i do k3d stop minus minus name first cluster stopping the server that's stopped if i do k3d list now so that's first cluster that's stopped that's second cluster that's running okay so it's all looking good now so so far we've only explored a single node kubernetes cluster now let's delete these two clusters and create a new cluster with a couple of worker nodes all right so k3d delete minus minus name first cluster k3d delete minus minus name second cluster that's done k3d list so we don't have any clusters now docker ps no docker containers let's create a new cluster k3d create we don't have to specify the name because we are just going to deploy one cluster but i'm going to specify minus minus workers you can give whatever number you want it's going to start up 
that many containers worker node containers so you can specify three let's go with two so this time it's going to deploy one master node with two worker nodes okay booting two workers for cluster and now if i do docker ps so you will see three docker containers one for the master node and two for the worker nodes so we have three docker containers cool okay and export so i think it's not that one um okay so export cube config k3s default so that's the name of the cluster kubectl get nodes all right so all of them are in the ready state we've got one master node and two worker nodes cool okay so since we've got metric server you can do kubectl top nodes metrics not available so let's wait for a few more uh, minutes to uh, wait for the metrics to to be available and then you can see kubectl top pods at the moment there is nothing kubectl top nodes metrics not yet available but soon we will have the metrics available kubectl minus n cube system get all metric server is running we've got traffic we've got uh core dns local path provisioner okay um we've also got ingress kubectl get ingress there's no ingress defined which means we've got ingress resources uh, available that we can start using uh, but that will be in the next video that um, i will show you how to deploy a simple nginx application and then use ingress to up, uh, to access the application all right cool so kubectl top notes Cool, so now you can see uh, the CPU utilization and memory utilization, the actual unit and in percentage as well. And if I do kubectl top parts, again, you can see all these. So these are all coming from the metrics server. Okay, k3d list, k3d help, add node delete stop start list get cube config let's see k3d get cube config so that's the cube config uh, that we are using for this cluster okay so i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video i done a video earlier about uh, Kubernetes in Docker, which is kind, uh, which supports multi-master Kubernetes cluster. But I don't think uh, K3D, using K3D, you can set up a multi-master, highly available Kubernetes cluster. Uh, but with kind Kubernetes in Docker, you can create multi-master, highly available Kubernetes cluster. Okay, Docker PS, K3D, delete. That's gone. K3D list Docker PS. Okay, cool. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. Please give this a try. It's very, very simple. And if you've got any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.